Humans, are you here? <laughs> what? Is that a, not an okay uh, substitution for testing? Testing. Oh, I don't need to test anymore. I was wondering why it wasn't working that great. Okay, well, everybody, welcome back to Outlast 2. This is going to be the third episode, I believe. But, uh, no camera today, because I'm not really in the camera mood. So, let's jump right back into it. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusions that they should believe a lie. But they all might be damned to believe not truth, but have the pleasure in righteousness, not. Loading, bang, oh, Zion, Zion, thou the strongest of prophets sent unto, who set your houses. This lets in the blood of you, ill got children, who sprinkled upon the earth to be believed that. Ugh. I don't even know where we were. I think we like just woke up from sleeping. Um, I'm sleeping. Excuse. Me. Sleeping. Outside of worse. The prophet don't need your help in finding the devil's whore and her me. No questions even now, other heretics at chapel. God or God. You sin when you deny the prophet, your daughter. You sin sense to deny. Hey guys, I hope you're not recording an episode. He could be talking about owls. Just let me talk to you I can giant, about giant badass owls. Out like Brahmin from Fallout. Aww, I'm tracking whatever. But the problem is, the weird thing is, all predators have receded from the area. Can you take a guess as to why? They're like, fuck that shit, we don't know what that is, run! It's because the predators in the area, they're able to withstand the background radiation, but should they eat the meat, they'd be getting a double dose and they would die instead of evolving like the herbivores. Yeah. Oh, do you want to know something creepy that it was, was that I read yesterday? On oh, not yesterday, day before while I was at work? Sure. We are no longer going to evolve anymore. This is our final stage of evolution. Wait, 
when we talk about appearance-wise, as we became so advanced, so like, technologically... You're making my that, video boring. No, we're not. That You're making it scientific. As soon as something cool happens, we'll stop filling the empty space. No. Probably won't. No, but I'm we... pretty sure we will, mostly because we'll be screaming like little pussies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But hey, we became so technologically inclined that whenever we have any sort of problem, we automatically go to the machine and technology. Our bodies no longer have to adapt. Think about the heat and the cold weather. We build shelter now. Our bodies have actually lost all the hair on their chest. Almost. We are no longer a freaking carpet walking around. We now evolve uh, to different situations through technology. Not actual physical evolution. Darwinism no longer applies to humans. I mean, you can't argue that, but we also still have to build machines and crap like that. And if there's any but sort of gonna... sudden change that forces uh. us to away from machinery or something really fucked up but that makes it so we have to somehow find a new way of existence. We might that, you know, might end up with some bigger cranial. So I can put under smaller spaces like in there. Or even the in existence and finding a way to transcend physical form and becoming I mean, bigger energy. Yeah. But that of course, is... that's most likely not going to be a natural evolution. That's where they were talking about our natural evolution, natural evolution attended. We now actually control the way our bodies can be evolving. Right now. Mm -hmm. right. I find it weird is the appendix. They found what? out that it does have a use. What is it? No fucking clue. <laughs> the only thing, they weren't able to determine what it was. All they were able to determine is this is in our body because it does something. Don't fucking know what it does, but it does something. Because throughout history, we have evolved it, and then unevolved it, and evolved it, and unevolved it. It's something that, for some reason, in our biology, something keeps coming back that we need it, and then going away, and then coming back, and going away. Clearly, these people have not faced evolution, as Appendix. you can tell by all of the weird fucking inbred baby it murder. It makes a lot of sense. Research has deduced that the appendix is designed to protect good bacteria from the gut. That way, when the gut is affected by bad or diarrhea or other illness, the key gut intestine is good bacteria in the appendix and depopulates the pre-polluted digestive system. So basically, like the doomsday sequence. Yeah. Which, that's exactly what the effect You do know what that's about, right? Because I know that's not a common knowledge thing, but kind of should be. It's a vault in Russia where it has every single seed on Earth. I think Russia's just the biggest one. They have them all over yeah. the world, however. It's because the Ru Russian one has over, I think it was 1.5 million. It literally has seeds that have went, plants that have technically went in, one of the things. Because we chopped down its natural home, but we still can't yeah. see the ball so we want to turn it back out. You're destroying the natural evolution of the planet now, not just you. Which means we're either going to create the whole universe's worst or best planet. There is probably no in between whatsoever. Point, Seeing as how we're really humans, not. we're probably going to end up making the fucking worst one. I mean, look at fucking made all the decisions we're making. Trump is president, fucking ISIS uh, claiming religious rights while sawing the person's head off with a box cutter. Do you want to know something that actually really like sad that. that I just learned about ISIS through it? Really? What? A lot of the shit that's being spewed about ISIS, the actual group, ISIS, the military group, isn't doing that. It's the radicals that are still doing that. ISIS yeah. is a political country that is just trying to retake its land through means of war and and diplomacy as well. In reality, all these videos going around, it's pretty much the quote unquote the ISIS KKK that's doing it. It's actually not the ISIS government doing any of it.
whereas the terrorist group is limited to the same like system. Mm -hmm. Whereas the governmental they didn't have anything to fucking do with it. It's just they, they hold the same exact flag. by association. They just hold the same exact flag because it's actual I can't remember the exact name before, but it's pretty much how we associate the Confederate flag with racism when in reality the Confederate flag was a flag that it was on a battleship halfway through the Civil War and then it was used as the national flag and it still stands for freedom of the but should we kill her out before she dies? Nah. You need to run directly at them now. Yeah. And now you need to turn back. Or you can use your face. Did you see any of it now? Have you watched any other YouTubers? Some pieces. Don't. Do not say anything because this is an us trying to figure it out from the beginning. I only said something because as she walked by, you could clearly see fucking boxes there. It's like, come on, there, there's something that you can do there. There's no innocent among the outsiders in our midst. Give them the knife, the club, the fist, if it's all you've got. I don't understand how people miss God huge things like that. You should like, go back to my amnesia theory. There's a lot of shit that I did that was like that where I missed something so big. I go back it's like and I like Borderlands. How the fuck do you miss it? If you got a big ass sign that is about the size of this entire room saying, "Hey, fuck art. Look, it's right here. That gun you need or something. It's here." There's a hey. free version of Borderlands. Oh, oh, right no, you're going to Nope, that's a dog. It, it's chewing your face off. And now you you're dead. Borderlands has a free version of Borderlands. She's slightly unhappy with this, or that she is concentrating on on not being like you know stabbed to death or weird little very rage. The weird thing is, some of our best videos are really just commentary behind the game. It's like the commentary is not even doing anything to the game. It's the fact that, like I've said before, and you've pointed out before, a lot of us will just. Lick it on so that we have something to listen to in the background rather than it ever realizing that we're a bunch of lonely losers with no friends. <laughs> I'm a lonely loser with very low friends. Sorry, hit, um, subscribers and <laughs> non subscribed viewers, but as you can probably guess, I, I, I like the self depreciating humor. It's what comedy practice is for now. Tommy is born out of depression. I'll just put my phone Jesus Christ. There's a guy there. Why can't you... You can hop a fence, but you can't jump over some tires. You've got some stubby ass legs. I know, right? They, you know, like, Tommy Crackers being born from depression, right? Mm. Robin Williams, George, Charlie, and Charlie ah! Chaplin. Evan Costello, like some of the big Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. Like all of his shit, it's just constant uh, bullcrap about his I'm father not and whatnot. You. King Bosch, he even admitted that before buying the record here with the crowd. I'm gonna hate the porn cutie pie. Jack up Pie actually admitted that he went through a big depression. Uh, no Joking offense, around about uh, his life uh, and how bad it was. It, it seems like everyone goes through at least some form of depression. It's just, are you at a medical level of depression where we have to be worried, or are you like, gonna be okay with that depression? Because that's what you always got in question. The problem is, a lot of people just assume that you're, you're gonna be okay, you don't need help, and it produces that negative stigma. Hey. I died again. And people just shit on you for it. Like, oh, you're just a pansy, suck it up. Like, okay. Well, it seems that you clearly don't understand how the brain works. Let, let me put this into the simplest fucking form I possibly can. Go line up a hundred people. A hundred of your friends, family member, you, whatever. Drop a cinder block on each of their feet. Some of the feet are going to break. Some of the feet are not going to break. Now are you understanding this? Everyone has their own breaking points, and sometimes it gets cut. Those 
people need help. And you know damn well you wouldn't be talking shit about anyone if it was one of your family members that had done this. Or if it was you that had attempted this. Or someone that you loved. Yeah, well, she was at least kind of a top joke on the way to really put it with different things to talk about. I think that would be an awesome idea because there's really not that many channels out there that do that. Yeah, there's plenty, but it's just there's I've not very many before. popular ones. Mostly due to the fact that it's a single person without the controversy, and controversy is what causes it to thrive, thanks to the fact that you're able to show multiple viewpoints. Oh, you don't drink the juice? Juice is good for you. Well, anti-accident, why not? Um, okay. Oh, what would you do with that? You better put that other half of the melon away when you're done. Uh, it's oh, still sorry. right there, that's why I said that. You want any of the mm, Nah, I'm good for now. The female made me egg. Yeah, whose eggs are those? Uh, it's on a table? Yeah. They are mine. You heard him, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm surprised that there was not a snarky remark. Oh, is that the fact like that I already typical... asked him if he wanted eggs and he said no? Um, when I woke you up the first asleep. time. Uh, Unconscious people don't want eggs, Lexi. Shh. Technically, this video won't be up today. It'll be up tomorrow. Look at how beautiful oh, he is. I already have, wait, wait, wait. Already have half of Zoom video. back out. I, when I was watching this, I actually never got to see. Is that a he, or is that a she, or what's going on there? It's a he. Oh. Man. Do you think they did this to him while he was still alive, or after they beat him and possibly raped him? I'm not sure. We're trying to be slightly more kid friendly, so we're gonna say after he dies. Kid friendly, I should say rape. Now bacon is it. No. no. It doesn't Just have bacon. It's crunchy, is it with a little bit of work at the bottom? Alright, good time. Salt. Some of us are very salty. Like. What am I waving my hand around for? Uh, you were covered in flies because they knocked you into a giant fucking vat of dead bodies. Take out like a man. Go ahead and hide in that barrel. Do it. Do it. Mm. Turn around. Hide in that barrel. Hold right on. now. Why? Just hide in the barrel. That's it. Ah, uh, yeah. You literally just jumped in a barrel of blood, did you? Yeah. <laughs> That's the good stuff. Ah! Go away! Good job. There we go. <laughs> That'd be funnier if it actually didn't go away the entire game. I just completely fucked her over. Well, it'd be funnier for me anyway. Yeah. I don't have to sit through this torture. Nah, we'd make you play a game. Episode. I'd be fine playing an episode, I don't have to play the whole fucking game and get into the bullshit parts while only being able to see blood. Alright. <laughs> it is God! Oh, it's death. Ah! It's death. Ah! What the fuck?! Well, looks like that's the end of this episode. Ah! The light is death. That or it is God and God hates us. God damn it! Well, exactly! <laughs> we were just through this. Lexi, why do you have to reiterate? Ah! Uh, God damn it, Chuck! <laughs> God damn it, Chuck! How could you? <laughs> no, wait, we can't say God damn it. We have to say Chuck damn it. Alright, well that's Chuck it for this episode it. since it decided to fucking stop working! I thought it was with all that porn. Uh, what porn? Fuck off, 
Bye, buddy. Have a nice day.